what's happening, Pizza Holics? Right behind me is Lucia's Pizza of Avenue X. Right on that corner. Guys, I can't begin to tell you how many times people have messaged me over the past couple of months. Go to Lucia's, go to Lucia's, Avenue X, Lucia's of Avenue X. New spot, not sure how long it's been there, a couple of months maybe, not sure, but it's fairly new and it's busy, it's buzzing, everybody's telling me to go there. One of the hottest pizzas in Brooklyn, in New York City. Looks great, it looked great. Two cheesies, two slices, right out of the oven. Let's go eat, guys. Here we go. Oh, baby. Right up my alley. These look amazing. All right, here we go. Oh, extremely light. Listen. Crackles on the bend. Nice and pliable. Nice crunch. Fairly light. No flop. Holding its shape. Like in the bottom. Uh, it appeared to be a gas oven inside. Uh, I, I can already tell, guys. I, we're in for a good one. But I got to taste it. Mm. Guys. We're in for a good one. Mm. Mm. Oh. I know you guys want to see the pizza when I bite into it. Oh man. Oh, that basil hits you. That basil is so fresh. Oh my God. I could eat a whole pie of this. I, I should have got a pie. Or whatever. I gotta stop eating and start talking. Let's go into the lab, folks. All right, guys, into the lab under the microscope we go. Guys, here, here is a pizza that, if I were to tell somebody to make me a pizza, a New York style pizza, I would tell them to make it just like this. Just like this. You know me, guys, this is right up my alley. The basil, first and foremost. The shards of hard cheese, grated cheese, uh, probably Parmigiano, maybe some Grana Padana, not sure, but uh, uh, oh my goodness. The first, th this pizza is so good, I'm, I'm already, I'm thinking negative. I'm looking for, for flaws, and uh, I'm trying to find some flaws, and uh, I, I may have found one, I, I, I don't even, I may have found a flaw, perhaps it's sauce distribution. Uh, the same thing went for the other slice. This is their Marg, by the way. Uh, I had to get this, guys. It's right up my alley. You can get their cheese. You saw come out of the oven before when I filmed inside. And uh, uh, I got this because it just came out like 20 seconds before I ordered it. And uh, I, 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 it's just so good that I'm just I'm looking for something to criticize and uh, critique. Uh, it would probably be sauce distribution, even though... It's really not that bad. Uh, there are parts of the pizza where you're going to get just cheese. and But for the most part, guys, uh, you're going to get sauce with each bite. And you're getting good sauce. Look at the brightness of those tomatoes. Look how fresh they are. Not sure what kind. Didn't see any cans of tomatoes anywhere. But it's really bright, very fresh. Very uh, Also, uh, a little on the pulpy side. You know me, guys. I like when there's a little pulp 
in that tomato sauce. And there is some pulp in that tomato sauce, guys. Would have liked a little more of it. They ladled it on, very grandma style, no big deal. And um, again, you're going to get some dry patches here and there. But you know what? I bet there's more sauce on the margarita than you're going to get on the cheese pizza. Most New York slices, cheese pizzas, or as we say here, the regulars, regular pizza, is usually lacking in sauce. Guys, we got to go to that crust. Look at that beautiful, beautifully aerated crust, extremely light. This entire pizza feels like a feather in my hand right now. The, the plate, this plastic plate is heavier than the pizza. Look at that freaking thing, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to show you, uh, I don't just want to show you the, the, the crust. I want to I want to squeeze it just to give you an idea of how light this crust is. Look at that. Nice exterior crunch, slight, soft, light, chewy center. The chew for this pizza was very light. Exterior crunch, very, very tough. Very crunchy pizza here, very crispy, guys. Very high in the crisp level. Um, the, the, the bottom of the pizza was, you know, very reminiscent of uh, most um, gas-fired New York-style pizza. Dark brown. No leoparding, uh, so nothing too extraordinary. What's extraordinary is the lightness. Look at the seams. Uh, it's a very light pizza, and uh, you know it's one of those crusts that are probably made with uh, long fermented, uh, prolonged fermented doughs. But I'm not sure, guys. I didn't ask anybody, but I'm assuming that uh, this dough underwent uh, a period of fermentation due to the lightness. The flavor of the tomato was very, very highly concentrated and uh, uh, savory in every way. I really enjoyed the sauce on this pizza. Would have liked a little more, perhaps a little more there. Uh, but, guys, you know, these are minor gripes. Yes, I will deduct some points, but minor gripes. And the cheese, guys. Really good fresh mozzarella. Good dairy flavor. Look how moist that cheese is, guys. There's a lot of moisture still left in that mozzarella. That mozzarella hasn't been sitting inside the refrigerator for too long, guys. I can guarantee you that. Uh, look, look at that. Look how fresh that cheese is. And, guys, the grated cheese. Shards. Should I say shards of grated cheese? Even better than grated. Plus points for that. Look at the freaking freshness of that basil. It's like they just plucked it. It's, it's as if they're growing it in the in the backyard somewhere. Look at that. And it was so fragrant. Really good. Guys, we got ourselves a winner here, folks. All right, guys, it's about that time. The pizza cooled down. It gets cold. We give it another fold. Does it stay crispy long after cooling down? Are you kidding? Yeah, this pizza is going to stay crispy. You can leave it on a table for two more weeks. <laughs> it's going to stay crispy. This pizza is made to be crispy. Really good balance. The crust is right up my alley. Soft in the center. A little slight chew. Very light on the chew. Strong exterior crunch. Great salt. Guys. Guys. I'm going 8-7. 8-7. One of the best pizzas in Brooklyn, right here, guys. Right there on that corner. One of my one of my favorite margaritas in the city. Sauce distribution could have used some work. Again, the bottom, maybe a little more char, maybe a little smoky, smokiness, smoky element, and uh, we're talking. A low nine, but uh, almost there, guys. Guys, I'm out of here. If you can, do me a favor, smash that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit the join member for members only content. Uh, I really do appreciate the viewership. I'll look forward to our correspondences in the comment section. And until next time, folks, keep those bellies full. This is Antonio signing off.